Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today should be the last day of harvest, which means I can finally shave off my harvest beard. So I just left the farm. We're heading down to Dubuque right now to drop this load off. We should really only have four loads that we need to take down today. Uh, bar any issues, we should finish. So just fired up Big Red and took off. Uh, made sure that all the tires were good. And uh, they are, so did my pre-check and we're all good to go. The only thing that's really noticed this morning, that I've noticed this morning, is the temp gauge has been acting up a little bit. Seems like it likes to go to the higher side. I know that it's not an issue with the truck. It's almost got to be an issue with the gauge because right when I fired the truck up, it went all the way up to 250. So right out there is where it should be. You'll see it bounce up a little bit. Just, there you go. Seems to be getting a little bit better, but uh, I'll keep a close eye on it to make sure that the truck isn't actually overheating. Since it's jumping up like that and going down so quick, I know that it's not an issue um, with anything other than the gauge. So, just needs to get through today, and then <laughs> this winter I can have a closer look at it. trying to get their last minute corn out like us. This is a long, honestly, this is the longest line I've seen all harvest. texted me and let me know that Harvest 2022 is officially a wrap. Came in like a lion, went out with a baseball bat. 
We're going to take this last load down to Dubuque, and uh, while I'm doing that, they're going to start moving stuff back to the farm. I about bagged a 10-pointer here yesterday without even picking up a gun. There you have it, folks. Now it's time to clean up the combine. Well, I might as well eat yesterday's lunch before it goes bad. Cheesy tuna melt. It's actually not as bad as what you'd think. Now she waits until we need her again.
Why is he taking back off? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's coming out. I just finished putting in bales for the cows. Dad just left with the 7600 and the Rhino Ag 4155 rotary mower. So the intention is to make corn fodder tomorrow. We just got the 7600 back today. Travis said it drives like a new tractor. He said that having it worked on eliminated the whine in the transmission, which is a great thing because it's driven a little clunky ever since we got it. Um, but he said that definitely helped with how smooth the tractor drives. So um, dad took the mower out and knocked out the top strip out at my place. He mowed a little bit over at Rockville because Travis decided he wants a few more fodder bales. Um, we'll see how many bales I get off this. I'm aiming for at least 100. But uh, the intention is to come back in the spring and haul the manure out from the barnyard up onto that top strip. And um, I imagine tomorrow someone's going to take the mower down and most stocks down at Travis's place, down at British, for Dad's cows. And um, that way they'll have bedding down there. Um, the other two of us will rake and bale out here over at the farm. And heck, depends what the weather does, but we might even go down to British yet. Harvest is officially over. Now I can shave this harvest beard or let it keep going. Who knows? I don't know. I just lost a bunch of dust just by rubbing it. <laughs> Maybe I should shave it down a little bit, but uh, Anyway, that pretty much is a wrap for harvest. I'm excited to uh, get things all wrapped up for the year. Uh, I would hopefully like to do a little bit more mulching, but we'll see how the weather pans out. We're kind of stretching thin on time with getting the corn fodder made before we get any more precipitation. So um, that's just the next on the to-do list, and then we're going to turn to tillage. So keeping you guys in the loop on what to expect in future videos, so be sure to stay tuned. With that, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, all off farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.